Hi, it's Dr. Sonia, Dr. Krista. Um, we wanted to jump on and share a little bit about what's going on in our practice. Um, everyone knows we've been through a really hard three years and what we're seeing in practice, unfortunately, is a lot of really burnt out uh, adults, teenagers, parents. And so this is our uh, three-part burnout series. It's gonna be short videos on how burnout can impact different systems in your body and how we can help. So Krista, today we're gonna start talking about stress. I'll pass it over to you. All right, so I have a little presentation we will share with you. Um, stress is not just in your head. Um, so Sonia deals mostly with the pediatric population base. So she, the kids are really uh, near and dear to her heart. So stress is, but stress is the same, whether it's good stress, bad stress, the last three years, obviously not, not a lot of great stress, but it's real. Um, typically the organ system of stress is the adrenal glands. They're above the kidney in the back. There's two of them. Your kidneys are about the size of your fist. These guys are little thumb sized structures on top of them. They have nothing to do with kidney function. They are your stress hormones and they help you get through the day. But in fight or flight, in times of duress, there's a cost to be in fight or flight. So this is them. This is the kidney and them on top of the kidney. They are a hormone, a hormone or an endocrine system. And I think they've been taxed. And so when we talk about the adrenal glands, we kind of lovingly call the outside of the inside. Oh, there's two there. The outside of the inside, uh, you know, fight or flight or, or survival, or the, the other gear is your regular gear. So cortisol is a hormone that is a good thing. It wakes us up in the day. And then we get a second little hit in the afternoon and that's life. Cortisol tells the, the body it's daytime, good for function, good for energy. We lower our cortisol at night so we can initiate and maintain sleep. But sometimes the body is experiencing too much or too little cortisol or too much or too little adrenaline, or you're grabbed on to adrenaline or fight or flight, and that's how you're surviving throughout the day. There's a cost to that. Your, your body has uh, a, a set definitive way to function, and when you can't function in the optimum mode, there's, there's a cost. So there are testing you can do to, to see you know, what is the system doing. You can actually test the adrenaline. You can test the cortisol. There's an in-house urine test we do called a Konensberg test that helps us determine what the stress system is doing. Um, and the adrenal glands and the stress system require very high amounts of fuel when they're, they're working at high levels. So they require things like magnesium. They require things like B vitamins. They require tons and tons and tons of vitamin C. And the faster and the more aggressive your, your system is pushed, then the more, the more the body needs those nutrients. There are herbs called adaptogens that tell the body to stabilize or be stronger with respect to cortisol. And then there's herbs that are called anxiolytics that cut down the, the, the need for adrenaline or fight or flight. And that's kind of generally how the, the, the naturopaths think about stress in the system. Um, we also know that the digestive system has a huge part to play. Uh, it is something you can control through diet, but also through making sure that your body makes 90% of your serotonin is made in your digestive system. This keeps us happy. The more serotonin we make, the, the less stress that we experience in the system. So making sure the digestive system is assessed is a part of the stress assessment. And when we look at stress, because it's not just in your head, we do want to make sure we're not missing anything. You can do hormone testing to see if there's an imbalance there, actual neurotransmitter testing for adrenaline, dopamine, and serotonin. There are things that make you feel like your body's stressed, such as low iron. So this is just a, a quick little summary of, you know, if you feel it, sometimes you want to medically work it up and make sure you're okay. And that the stress hasn't put pressure on blood sugar system or the cholesterol system, which it does, it does do. The term stress or the term burnout actually came from a Canadian researcher a long time ago when he put uh, mice and rats under, it was mice, under actual physical duress, under toxicity, and watched their bodies uh, become damaged physically. So the, the term for stress is very mechanical. We always think about it as sort of in your head, but it does have ramifications that we want to track and we want to make sure we're, we're protecting uh, our population base. And just this is a quick little diagram on actual, uh, the adrenaline we call here is uh, epinephrine, and then the balance between dopamine and adrenaline and serotonin, they're all related to each other. So there's a quick little diagram where we look at the impact of stress, but also, you know, it can be, it, it's a real thing, it can be testable. Anything you wanted to say there? Or your... Yeah, I, I wanted to just touch, um, 
you know, circle back to the digestive piece when we talk about fight or flight and the survival mode, keep in mind that during stress, your digestive system is going to slow down. So for my population of kids diagnosed with autism or kids with pediatric mental health concerns, we're going to see an increased sort of risk of them having constipation or having fecal loading, and they have pre-existing issues with the gut already. Um, with teenagers, we have some really great products. Uh, our kids have been through a lot, um, all of them adolescents right now, we're seeing and we're giving them strategies where they can try to identify what's making them feel stressed out, what are the physical symptoms, and then what they can do to help mitigate or reduce that. So I've been using a fair amount of Pasco Flare. You can use that as needed. Um, it's really safe. It's easy. It's quite easy to swallow. Um, we've been teaching a lot of kids to swallow and teenagers so that they can have the benefit of these products and they can even take them with them because they're really, really safe. I know my kids, I just kind of have it in an area of my house where they can go and take it as needed. Same thing with the lavender, it's the de-stress. The only drawback of this really is that sometimes you get the little lavender burps, but some people like them, some people can't stand them, but they work really, really well. And they work fairly quickly. Um, a couple of my favorite, favorite products for kids and parents, the parents that I'm seeing are so stressed. I mean, honestly, I feel like stress needs to be cut into like 300 different words for how much people are dealing with. Like keep in mind that stress creates a response within your body that's consistent. So one stressor results in one unit of stress response. And so really for us from a clinical medical standpoint, the stress itself, it can be thousands of different things, but your body is still going to react typically in, in a similar way. So you're going to use up a lot more protein. You're going to use a lot more energy in your system. Kids who are taking B12, uh, B12 helps to break up the adrenaline, helps to provide energy to the system. And sometimes what we're saying is that if your child's doing B12 injections, maybe you should consider doing them too, uh, if it's right for you. And usually it's quite safe and appropriate, uh, no matter what someone is having um, to deal with in, in terms of health concerns or medications, but check with your naturopath. And then I love this magnesium. Mag 3 and 8 is the brain magnesium. It's really calming. So you can take this as needed again for those teenagers or those kids who are stressed out, um, or even as a parent, if you're finding you're just getting irritable or frustrated, um, I have strategies that I employ at home too, if I'm just sort of at, I'm tired and it's still time to make dinner and do homework and <laughs> it's not even bedtime yet. So reach out if you guys are feeling stressed. Um, it's important to try to support your body. Stress doesn't evaporate or go away immediately, but with support, your body can get less and less burnout and more and more into, you know, a situation where your body's thriving. You want to finish yeah, off with anything? Oh, okay. no, I'm, oh, no, I'm yeah. good. <laughs> Have okay. a good day. Okay, perfect. I'm just looking for the uh, stopping the recording right here, which I never <laughs> seem to do well. So just another awkward 30 seconds, but thank you for joining us. <laughs>